hello inspired life community jessica here i am the owner of inspired life collective i am advanced eft practitioner meditation therapist holistic counselor and life coach and today i want to talk to you guys about living intentionally for the next 33 days until christmas so as I record this today, it's Monday. I think you'll receive it on Wednesday. So make that 31 days. But as I record this today, there's 33 days until Christmas. Okay, 33 days. And at the moment, you've probably seen me talking a lot about becoming aware of the stress levels in your body and the importance of becoming aware of these stress levels. And so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, what I thought I would share as this blog post today is about the fact that pretty much everybody that I know over the next 33 days is going to be living in this autopilot way of living. And I know exactly what it feels like. So for most of us, we don't finish work until what, maybe the 24th of December, 23rd of December, maybe a couple of days beforehand if you're lucky. So between now and Christmas, you're going to be in this like autopilot, go, go, go. Maybe you have, you know, a few different work commitments. Maybe you have Christmas parties, your Christmas party, your partner's Christmas party. Maybe you've got um, after school, you know, commitments as well as weekend dance recitals and, you know, presentations for your kids and um, family commitments. Plus, you know, you're trying to get all these things done before you take your Christmas break. And I will tell you why I say that in inverted commas shortly. So, you know, for the majority of us, between now and Christmas, it's go, 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 go. There is no stopping. There is no time to relax. There is no downtime. There is also no time that you sort of consciously stop and think, hmm, how stressed am I feeling right now? Or if you do notice that you feel stressed, the chances are that you are so accustomed to feeling this way and to watching everybody else around you feel this way that you don't choose to do anything about it anyway. And the thing is, that is not your fault. That is an expectation that society has put on us to always be busy, to always have to have something to do. Okay, I don't know many people who can just sit with their thoughts anymore. Everybody's always going to be busy on the go. Anyway, I've digressed a little bit. Coming back to the next 33 days, if this is you and you know that between now and Christmas, you have a list as long as maybe your leg to get through and you know that you are not going to have a spare minute in your day and you are setting conditions for your Christmas break. I need to finish this deadline, get this done for work, finish this Christmas shopping, get this done, do this with my house and do this before Christmas, then I can relax. If you are setting conditions for your break, you're not going to have a break. And you know what? If you have kids, let's not really call it a break, okay? I love my children very, very dearly, but the reality is they need me to be entertained. They need me to survive. <laughs> They need my attention. So what is a, a break or, a, you know, a few days where you're not actually going into your job is actually really just still energetically draining. It's still energetically draining. And I don't think anybody really takes that into consideration. Okay, there's this big expectation that I'll do this and then I'll get a break. Just are you really getting a break? But what I want you to consider as you think about living intentionally for the next 33 days, 31 days by the time you watch this, is are you activating your relaxation response regularly? And I know that's not the first time I've said that. It's definitely not the first time I've sent you guys something like this asking that question. And the reason that I want you to become aware of that is because if you are that person who is go, 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 okay, right up until Christmas, when you knock off work on the 23rd and then you've got to finish your shopping on the 24th and then you've got to prepare food for Christmas Day and your house is a mess and it's one thing after another. 
The chances are that you are not connected with your body enough to feel the very first warning signs that your body is giving you that you are stressed. Things like muscle tension, okay? Things that are there to help you have an early intervention. And instead, we get so caught up in this fast-paced world that we don't. And we also become so accustomed to feeling that way that we also don't pay it any attention. So my challenge to you, my question to you is, will you choose to mindfully live for the next 33 days, noticing your stress response, noticing what's going on in your body and choosing to actually actively relax it? Because if you spend the next 33 days in a fight or flight response, you are spending the next 33 days with excess adrenaline running through your body. And you might need that to get through Christmas, but excess adrenaline, okay? And our adrenaline feeds some cancer cells. Um, some cancer cells have receptors for adrenaline and it helps you to spread. If you have excess cortisol in your body, okay, then you will gain weight. Excess cortisol will, will give you that around your stomach and other things as well. If you are in a stress response, in a fight or flight response for the next 33 days, then you are going to have things like digestive issues, migraines, headaches, anxiety, panic. Okay, you are going to cause yourself high, things like high blood pressure. Okay, think about the physical the physical response that your body has. And if you've done any training with me, then you'll know this. Think about the physical response that your body has when you are in fight or flight response. The physical response is something that we don't think about often because we just think about stress and worry as being purely mental. But a stress management plan and managing stress is a whole mind, body, and emotional task. So can you... Over the next 33 days, check in with yourself. How am I feeling? I'm feeling stressed. Well, what can I do about that? What are my stress management tools? What can I do to activate my parasympathetic nervous system, which is going to counteract my stress response? What can I do to release the stress from my mind and body so that when I do have my break, I can be mindful in that break? I can live in the moment, I can enjoy the time, and I don't have this buildup of overwhelm going on at the same time. I have physically released it from my body. What can you do? So that was a little bit of a rant today, actually, I feel. But <laughs> I really, really hope that this puts some things, some ideas into your mind over for you over the next 33 days. What does your time look like for you between now and Christmas? What conditions are you setting yourself for your break? And how much stress and tension are you allowing yourself to carry in your body? Okay, if you would like more information about releasing stress from your body, I highly, highly encourage you to look at Thrive. We are enrolling new members only until the 30th of November. And Thrive is a natural stress and anxiety management tool in the form of a monthly membership that you can cancel anytime. And it is there with my five stages of stress management. So you can learn to identify your very, very first warning signs of stress. Okay, so that you can use these to cope down the track. So you can use these to actually manage stressful times in your life without becoming overwhelmed, without reaching burnout, and without reaching physical illness, okay? Thrive will also help you to disconnect the emotions between the thoughts you are having and the memories, which means triggers, okay? Triggers can be broken in Thrive. We provide you with resource libraries of meditations and EFT sessions and affirmations and journaling prompts to support daily stress. And all of these things are going to help you to cope long term. And they can all be accessed in your own time because it is an online platform without support if you prefer, or you can click on the little chat button in there and you can reach me for support. 
So Thrive is ideal for somebody who is busy, somebody who needs this, who needs to be actively activating that relaxation response as a prevention, as a means of thriving in your daily life. But, you know, you're busy. So commit to something that is low cost, low time investment, but going to extremely benefit you long term. That's what Thrive is going to do for you. So guys, if you have any questions about that, I would love to hear them. I'm happy to answer them. Again, you can only enroll until the 30th of November and it's just $39 a month, which is about the price of two almond lattes a week. Um, I really highly encourage you to look into it if you are somebody who is living in a busy, fast-paced lifestyle, okay, where you are overcommitted, where things are go, 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 and you know that you are not giving yourself the appropriate amount of downtime to effectively manage your stress. And I urge you to do this before it becomes too much, before you have a boom and suddenly there's bigger problems to deal with. Have an amazing next fortnight because I will send you guys another blog post in two weeks time and I look very much forward to hearing how you are going to be living more mindfully over the next 33 days until Christmas. Mm -hmm.